This video is not about an ordinary transition. It's about one of the most eye-catching seamless transitions. But what exactly is a seamless transition? A seamless transition seamlessly blends two videos together to create a smooth transition without any visible cars. It feels like a single clip. As a result, every video transition records at least two video clips, and you can see them on the timeline inside DaVinci Resolve. It's important to note that most of the tasks for achieving an in-camera seamless transition have to be completed while shooting the video. Let me explain further. If I play the first video, you see that the camera is panning from the right to the left. Same thing similar happens in the second video, although it may vary depending on the situation. When it comes to camera settings, I prefer using manual focus when planning to achieve an in-camera seamless transition, because it can create a blur effect for objects close to the camera. I take advantage of this by seamlessly merging the blurred or invisible areas of two videos together to create the seamless transition. Sometimes additional adjustments may also be necessary. Let's see how we can do it. You may have already noticed the blurred areas in both videos at the end. Now we need to shift the blurred or invisible area of the second video from the end to the beginning. Using reverse speed might be a good option for this. To do it, right click on the second footage, then select change clip speed. In the pop-up window, you find the reverse speed option. Enable it, then hit change. Let's see what we have actually done is just move the time indicator to preview the changes. This is exactly what you wanted to achieve. Next, we should merge the blurred areas of the two videos. To do it, drag the second video to the left next to the first video. After that, play the video to ensure a seamless transition. However, there seems to be an issue with the camera panning. The two videos have different panning directions. Let's fix this by focusing on the first video clip and make some adjustments. First, ensure that the first video is selected. Then go to the inspector tab at the top right corner. Scroll down a bit and you'll find the flip option. Next to flip, you will see different icons. First one is for the horizontal flip and the second one is for vertical flip. Click on the horizontal flip icon and then you instantly see the changes in the timeline viewer. The blur area of the first video is now moved from the left to the right and our seamless transition is nearly complete. You might have already noticed a slight imperfection that indicates the seamless transition is not completely seamless. A minor adjustment is still needed to achieve a perfect seamless transition. Fortunately, we have a solution for this. Head to the effects section next to the media pool. Then select video transition from the toolbox. Pick the cross dissolve transition and apply it between the two video clips. If necessary, you can adjust the duration of the video transition to make it just right. This is the final output of our in-camera seamless transition in DaVinci Resolve, achieved through some adjustments. This is the third tutorial for DaVinci Resolve on this channel. If you are interested, you can find links to the first and second tutorials in the descriptions. I'll see you in the next video.